you're all doing well welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new vlog i thought i would pick up the camera today myself and tom we're off to and barney we're off to have a little explore in nutsford and i do want to pop into neptune before we head into the kind of like center so I thought I would pick up the camera, bring you guys with me today. So I hope you guys enjoy the vlog content. We had a lovely lazy morning in bed this morning, puppy cuddles, we went for a nice a long walk around uh, Wilmslow Cars and we also grabbed a Greg's. They've got the pumpkin spice lattes out now. So gross pumpkin spice latte, try it if you haven't already. So yeah, we grabbed breakfast, went for a nice walk, got showered, got ready for the day. We're about to um, head off soon. The builders are actually in today pointing, repointing the house. So it's a little bit noisy. So it's a perfect opportunity to get out for the day. I also wanted to kindly thank today's video sponsor, Skin and Me. So I'm going to do a bit of a evening skincare routine when I get back later on this afternoon. And we're going to have a nice cozy movie night. And there's nothing better, is there? It's forecast to be raining all afternoon. And so we wanted to get out, go out for a nice lunch, then get back home, have an early evening beauty routine, and then just get into comfies, get cozy. I'm going to head down into the cinema room pick a nice feel-good autumn movie and just enjoy all the snacks i'm kind of hoping we'll find a nice bakery or something in nutsford to maybe get some treats for later but yeah i wanted to thank skin and me for sponsoring today's video you'll see the product in use later on when i get back home i've just received a new delivery for this month if you've not heard of skin and me it's incredible it's a perfectly designed brand that is tailored to your skincare. They do have cleansers and moisturizers, which I have been using. However, the hero product for me is the Daily Doser. So this is a brand new one to start off this month. I've still got a few days left on my previous one, which is in the bathroom currently. In terms of how it works, you essentially log onto their website, complete a short survey, which literally takes like five minutes. You submit a couple of photos for your um, of your skin, makeup free to professionals for them to to customize and design a personalized formula which they send out every month in the mail so this one for me um nafisa has very kindly prescribed to me combination of active ingredients of niacinamide and azaleic acid and the percentages vary as the months go on as well so you get results in eight weeks so i wanted to kind of give you an overview of what skin and me actually is and their daily dosa which i have been loving i've definitely seen an improvement in my skin the kind of like the minimized pores which was one of my concerns and also the kind of glowiness I just wanted a bit more hydration and also anti-aging properties as well for fine lines and wrinkles and kind of skin texture the daily doser is usually $24.99 a month but I do have an amazing offer so I wanted to mention it now to make sure that you guys take advantage of it I'll leave a link in the description box along with the information but the code is Freya F and with that code you can try your very own skin and me routine for just three pound fifty three pound fifty it's cancel anytime as well if you decide it's not for you link will be left in the description box below let's get into today's video and i'll talk to you more about the benefits of skin and me for what it has done for my skin later on in my little early evening skincare routine
Myself and Barney just chilling outside the lambing shed. Just before we go into Nutsford, it's just up the road from um, from Neptune. So we figured we'd go to Neptune and then come here. And the sun is out today, which is really nice. I'm really enjoying it actually. So this, like, it's like a farm shop um, lunch place. I have had food here before a couple of times actually um done a couple of solo trips out but we've also i've also come here with my parents um it's dog friendly in the cafe but with i think we're going to go into nutsford for lunch and find somewhere there instead so we just thought we'd have a quick look in the farm shop which i've got a couple of bits and tom's spying up what we could maybe have for dinner tonight might cook a nice wholesome pie or something who knows so um, yeah, he's just in there having a quick look now. And like I said, the fact that it's due to rain later is kind of exciting for me. I feel like it's more justified to have a cozy night in when it's raining outside. home sweet home can I take your collar off so we have made it back home lovely day out the guys pointing are still here so you thirsty as well <laughs> so you might be able to hear them I thought I'd just show you what we did end up picking up food wise so that I could pop some bits away went via Buzzy Bee Bakery on route home in Wilmslow and it is and we're probably talked about them before on this channel but they do brookies they do loads of different stuff but brookies are our fave so I got myself a kinder white and Tom a kinder chocolate brookie so that will be our cinema snack for tonight and I'm very excited about it um so yeah that's that and then From the lambing shed, the farm shop, I got a couple of food bits again. This is what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Oh, I forgot I got these. Double sweet treats for tonight. Some of these, I always call them cannelloni, but that's pasta. Cannoli. White chocolate cannoli. Um, and then I got some crackers. For, we're going to basically have a pie. Pop a pie in. And this is a huge pie, so this is feeding us for the week um fa frozen family steak pie so i'll pop that in the oven and then have a kind of like cheese board to go with it so proper wholesome dinner tonight so i got for cheeses i got us a brie and some gruyere gruyere and a little slither of Stilton for Tom, because I'm not really a Stilton lover, personally. And then I've got us a chutney. This one looked really nice. It's called a Westmoreland Farmhouse Chutney. A little relish. And then I also got this, which I thought would be nice for like cheese toasties or something. Let me just set the scene. After a nice long Sunday walk in the countryside, get home to have a nice crusty sourdough cheese toasty with some warm soup delish and to go with it a hawk's head relish worcester sauce yum so then i also just got a couple of um crackers to go with them fig and sultana and water it's just like a basic 
cracker. So we can pop these in the fridge. And then I'll take you upstairs and show you what I got from Neptune. I feel like, um, I feel like the pointer guys, pointing guys, sounds a bit loud in that kitchen. So I'll bring you upstairs. And actually I do have a couple of bits that I've recently picked up from Home Sense. Now I've already done like a Home Sense haul and stuff this season, let's say. Oh my God. Tom? Oh, it's like the sandblasting has happened again. It's basically in my filming room. There's this little like ledge here, which obviously the roof's getting done. And then we've had in here floorboards fitted for the if we, I don't think we will, but in future or future buyers could um, put a little balcony here. I don't think we'd use a balcony and I don't really like the idea of having a balcony in my filming room. Um, but Neptune, let me go get the home sense bits. But from Neptune, I did just get one little item, which you might have already seen actually, because my last video was a decorate for autumn with me, which I might use this candle, but in real time for me, I'm actually filming that video tomorrow. So I'm doing a switch over with these videos. So I haven't actually filmed the decorate for Christmas. Definitely haven't filmed that yet. Decorate for autumn with me yet even though you guys have already seen it. But anyway, this is the Blyton Pillar Candle, which I have a hurricane for, a glass hurricane, and it's a gorgeous, I think, autumn, shade for autumn. It's one of their new ones. They did say that they had this color a couple of years ago. So you might have seen it before if you're a Neptune fan, but it's the olive shade. How nice is that? These are unscented. They're just like, a, just a box standard Neptune Pillar Candle but I've got the fig color, which is like a deep burgundy red for Christmas, and I've got that put away. So yeah, I thought I would get the green one for now. I think I prefer the green one, to be honest with you. So yeah, I've got that. The other random home purchases that I've been making over the last um, couple of days, basically, starting with Home Sense and TK Maxx, I saw this um, candle. I've got a smaller version, a pumpkin one, and then I saw this one, which is Fall Leaves, and it's the Natural Essentials one. So look at the wooden lid, that's their branding. These smell lovely, these candles. This scent is perfect for me. If you don't like the pumpkin spice sickly scents for autumn, this is far more, I'm gonna say festive, pine kind of scented, Fall Leaves, amazing. So, so happy I saw that, it was 19.99, a nice, five wick big candle and then i thought this could be fun to cook one evening just a nice autumn mixed shade pasta and this was two pound 79 they're just different colored leaves i did get one other candle and i <gasps> season right has anyone else been discovering spiders lately because that was horrendous but where is it i think i think we're good i think i can sit here and be comfortable that it's not here okay i'm just gonna have my wits about me right now <laughs> so anyway i got one more candle and i'd spotted this one online actually it's um the design of it how gorgeous is this for that kind of car country farmhouse style seasonal decor. So yeah, pumpkin soy latte, this one is scented. But yeah, how cute are the little farm fresh illustrated pumpkins on the front? Love that. Oh God, stressed. I just wanna know where it is. I can't believe I had it in my hand as well. So I'm not the sort of person that would pick up a spider to let it out. <laughs> if I'm gonna let it out, I'm catching it in something to be able to let it out. I can't just pick it up. Oh, well anyway, I did also pop into Dunelm. I wanted to get a stock up of one of these because we had to use it. So it's little spare toothbrush I keep in my little um, 
guest hamper on the spare bed. I kind of like the look of it, so I have it out all the time. And just to have a couple of adult spare toothbrushes in, which I had to use one the other day to scrub something. So I decided to get that as a backup. And then I also picked up um, these from Donnell actually, some cozy slipper socks. I find these far more comfy than actual slippers for wearing around the house. Not far more comfy because slippers are comfy. But if I'm actually getting really cold, which as it starts to get really cold in this house, especially as we're going to have the extension being done, it is going to get really cold. And I find these kind of slipper stock, sock style slippers um, just a lot cosier. So I'll have like cosy socks on, leggings and these. And they are in a large to extra large at £7. They had loads of colours. I just went for the taupe. How cosy do they look? Might even put them on tonight. We'll see. And then I also popped into Wilco's, which they have some new festive cleaning additions from glade one of these pumpkin spice latte plugins and then i also got this for one of the bathrooms and then i also picked up one of the this is from denelm actually one of the rustoleum stone textured effect sprays which i thought would be quite nice to do some diys on i was thinking about spraying a wreath that i had from amazon and also a couple of pumpkins and um you could like vases and things if you just want to elevate just a standard vase that you're a bit bored of then i think this has a real nice modern touch to it it basically sprays on like that so yeah i picked that up that is i think it's about 10 pounds kind of pricey but uh yeah really good and then also popped into sainsbury's the other day and picked up a couple of bits that i set to one side that i thought i'd just show you because they've got some sale items on their stationery and if you remember i've actually bought this book before but i thought i'd pick up another one because they're just so good to have it's just a plain linen a4 notebook and these were eight pounds but they were in the sale to just four and they had loads of them and then they also had like the weekly pads which we've already got one of those upstairs they had these to-do lists, which were, I think these were reduced down to three pounds. Um, and these are just so handy to just have on a desk to hand as you're on the phone, you know, just a little jotter pad. Um, so I got that. And then last but not least, I did pick up some incense sticks. These are actually gonna go in um, Tom's room because he kind of has an office set up up there. I already got one of those linen books, so I'll give that one to him. And then he's got the weekly planner for this. So I thought it'd be quite nice to have that next to it as a little to-do list tear off jotter. Um, and then he also has incense burning up there as well. So I thought I'd pick this up for him. Quite a nice box to have out actually, especially as it goes with his theme up there of that kind of dark forest green. Rose, saffron and amber scented incense six. It is time to head into the bathroom, get my hair up, have a shower, maybe put some essential oil in to make it smell lovely and then just take off my makeup, have a bit of a skincare, relax and unwind and then have some dinner later on tonight and get cozy. Time to share with you the skin and me products that i have been using over the last couple of months really starting to notice the benefits of having a tailored formula in the daily dose that is specifically designed by dermatologists to target my skin concerns it's amazing so i start with their purifying prep cleanser for oily skin which is like a gentle kind of cream to foam cleanser that removes oil dirt and makeup without irritating my skin which i actually can be prone to sensitivity and rosacea the formulas are vegan cruelty free paraben free fragrance free too making them ideal if like me you too can be prone to sensitivity they all contain active ingredients that complement and work alongside each other and the perfectly portioned daily doser with the most satisfying click so you know that you're not overusing and you're using the exact amount each time it lasts for a month before the next is delivered straight to your door sustainability is at the forefront of their designs with their packaging too the aluminium tubes allow for every single last drop of product to be squeezed out while they're also shipped in msc registered cardboard packaging too 
Once I've applied the Daily Dosa, I let it work its magic, really sink into the skin for around 10 minutes before applying the moisturizer. And in this time, I just take the opportunity to just get stuff done, whether it be clean my teeth, moisturize my body, get into PJs, and then back to the bathroom mirror to apply the Soothe and Smooth Light Moisturizer. I love how this one feels on my skin. If you like a nice lightweight feeling moisturizer, you will love this one. Again, it's like a gel cream consistency with hyaluronic acid in it too, which I've really noticed improving my hydration levels. There's nothing worse than applying a load of moisturizer, your skin soaking it all in and then feeling like you need to apply more. This one boosts the moisture levels and its barrier functions without clogging pores too. So don't forget guys, you can try your very own full skin and me routine for just £3.50 with my code FREYAF. We have full stomachs. We still have half a pie left. <laughs> but we have room for these. I feel like it would only be fair to show you what these look like on the inside. Look at the thickness on that. Amazing. Goodbye. I know, yeah, he's, he's trying to get his nose in. I actually don't know if I'll be able to break it. I might need to cut into it. But essentially a brookie is a brownie wrapped in a cookie oh so mine's got um mine's got the kinder mixed with the it's like a blondie rather than a like there's no actual dark brownie in mine that's just all that kinder stuff oh my gosh yeah right amazing when we had this last time, Tom um, actually looked up to see if you could buy this. Did you say you found it? Yeah. Online or like on Amazon or something? Yeah. You can get Kinder filling. You know how you can get like the Lotus Biscoff spreads and Nutella and things like that? You can get the Kinder version. So I need to hunt that down because that would be amazing. wanted to round off today's video and say thank you guys for watching we're going to go back down into now that we've finished our food just clear up a bit go back down into the basement and find another movie the movie that we watched is called what did they graffiti on the wall i came by something like that i came by on netflix 
really good actually. It's one of these like BBC filmed ones. So there's quite a few actors in there I recognise from um, you know like the odd random BBC show and things that is kind of the season. The seasons coming, autumn and winter, are always the best for like new BBC docu, not documentaries, they're like series, like dramas, but yeah. Really enjoyed it. Would recommend watching it if you haven't already. Thank you to Skin and Me for working with me on today's video. My skin is glowing. Look at that dewiness from doing my skincare this evening. So I will leave a link to Skin and Me below. Don't forget you can get it literally for £3.50 for your first month with my code FREAF. I know you guys are going to love it just as much as I do because it is tailored exactly to your skin. So thank you to them for working with me on today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you have. Subscribe for more and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.